Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in Texas have corrected a three billion year old genetic glitch. The glitch in question involves the process of reverse transcription when a retrovirus uses RNA to copy DNA. The enzymes used by retroviruses to perform reverse transcription are unable to proofread their work, which means the DNA sequences they produce are often extremely inaccurate copies of the original RNA. This error-prone reverse transcription process may have played a major role in the early evolution and diversification of life. All the same, modern-day genetic researchers using reverse transcription in their work would prefer a more accurate process. Now, thanks to scientists at the University of Texas at Austin, they may have such a process. The UT Austin researchers genetically engineered a new enzyme that performs reverse transcription and proofreads its work, correcting errors as it goes. The enzyme, called RTX, was created by reprogramming a DNA polymerase to read RNA. The DNA transcription process incorporates a natural proofreading mechanism, making it much more accurate than reverse transcription. The researchers hope their new and improved RNA polymerase will lead to more accurate diagnoses of genetic diseases, among other future benefits. The paper is published in the journal Science. Next up, doctors in Utah have made history by performing a successful tumorectomy using a 3D printed model of the patient's kidney. During a procedure to remove a tumor from a patient's kidney, doctors at Utah's Intermountain Medical Center relied on a 3D printed model of that kidney based on CT scans to determine precisely how the tumor had attached itself to the kidney and how best to safely remove it. The model was used by doctors both to prepare prior to the surgery and as a reference in the operating room during the procedure. Because the tumor was located in a particularly sensitive area, the doctors say they could not have safely removed it while saving the patient's kidney were it not for the 3D model. And finally, a laboratory in the UK is developing a new method for testing cosmetics that could eliminate animal testing. The company, Accelerate, is working on a process that uses skin cells donated by cosmetic surgery patients to test cosmetics and assess any potential harmful effects. Starting with the donated skin cells, the Accelerate lab is able to create an artificial skin that is almost identical to the real thing. The testing method is not only cruelty-free, since it uses human tissue, it's more accurate than standard methods as well. Using animals to test cosmetics has been banned in the European Union since 2013, but it is still widely used in the rest of the world, including here in the U.S. Hopefully that will change relatively soon, when the research conducted by companies like Accelerate is able to persuade the rest of the world that animal testing is not only unethical, but unnecessary. Scientists correct a 3 billion year old genetic glitch Doctors use a 3D printed model of a patient's kidney to perform a successful surgery, and a company in the UK is working to put an end to animal-based testing of cosmetics. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, won't we? We will. We'll be back.